Welcome back to Fry Minis. I'm Eric, and today I've got an unboxing video. We're gonna take a look at the latest line of pre-painted WizKids Minis, the Mythic Odysseys of Theros, and then stay to the end, I've got a special giveaway. Okay, so thanks for joining. So the Magic the Gathering setting of Theros, which this whole set is built around, is kind of like a classic Greek uh, swords and sandals type of world. Um, lots of interactions with gods and kind of classic monsters. Uh, I don't know too much about Magic the Gathering stuff here, but I think we'll be able to figure it out. So I've got a brick as well as an extra box. Okay, so if you don't know, a brick is eight boxes, and then I've got that bonus one. Um, each box contains four miniatures, uh, three medium or smaller, and then one large or larger. Right off the bat, we have a something crazy, a gr griffin. <laughs> uh, it's just a griffin, but it has a cape, a Leonin Swiftclaw. So this is a, a st strength-based cat creature. A Nyx Fleece Ram. A goat is a goat. A Triton Master of the Waves. This fin is awesome. A crab. <laughs> uh, emissary of Fassa, technically. Uh, but it's a big old crab. Its legs are translucent and it's got some glitter inside. So a glitter crab. A returned Palm Knight but it's a dude with a sword and a mask. A Crowan Hoplite. This is what I was talking about with classic uh, sword and sandal. So kind of Greek. Ghost Blade Eidolon. I need to look this one up because uh, this is very cool. Flaming ghost fire sword lady. Look, she's just wearing a robe. Isn't that great? I guess it's an animal-ish kind of day, huh? A chimera. So we've got a lion, a unicorn, and a uh, griffin or eagle. In the, in the book, uh, there are rules for building your own chimera with different kind of monster parts. A night hag. She's also translucent, sparkly robes. And I don't know if you can see, she has an eyeball in her mouth. A uh, nymph naiad. Maybe kind of a water elemental person. This, this one's interesting, it's got a base. Most of the time, the WizKids pre-painted minis don't have a built-in base. And this one has some really neat water effect. Ooh, and that was a, <laughs> and Thusa, and that was a Satessan hero. But she's got a cool cape and she's really good at spinning her swords. I, uh, kind of like a spell effect for the sword is neat. This is, this is another good female mini. Whoa, oh my God. Arasta of the Endless Web. So I think this is one of the mythic encounters where it's um, kind of like a video game boss where it has like multiple cycles. This is absolutely horrifying and my wife is going to hate it. Sayana, Captain of the Pileas. I'm, I'm sorry with these names. Uh, this is a cool lady, look at that. She's got a really cool cloak, a little bit of misalignment on the print, but no big deal. And she's just walking her down. She's Coming to get you. Don't mess with her. Return to Palm Knight again. Nymph Lampad. So this is another one with that kind of glittery effect. She's kind of maybe like a tree type of thing. Or if this is water, this might be earth. Another griffin. Uh, so either this box or the first box uh, was the random box because you don't typically get duplicates for the, the larges in the, in the bricks. All right, this is the box of duplicates, huh? Another Night Hag. Oracle, I mean, I'm not much of a dude, but I feel like that's a pretty come at me bro kind of look. I like his robes, he's got the different patterns on there. Monk, ooh, this would be a, like a fun muscle wizard. Uh, oh, a returned sentry, hold on. His colors are different. Everything else is the same, I guess, I think, right? Yeah, same, same sculpt, different color. Oh, wow, Catablepus. This is very, very different than the the, the more traditional uh, Catablepus. It has kind of a, like a death stare. Uh, this mouth is disgusting. This is so cool. I really, really, really like it when a monster looks like some bonkers 
out of out of this world type of thing, and this nailed it. Ooh, love the colors right off the bat. A human paladin, oath of glory. Uh, very cool. Love this color scheme. Oh wow, nymph Al Alcid Alcid. He's got a bunch of glitter, a bunch of translucent effect. It looks like he's got hay or wheat. Another Leonin iconoclast. So we've got our we've got our bruiser over here, and then maybe our caster. What in the world? Emissary of Erebos. Look at that purple on the bottom. This is cool. Uh, its mouth is kind of wet inside. This is awesome. <laughs> All the huge ones have been really, really great. Anvil Rot Raptor. So a little metal bird. A nymph Oread. Um, the fire effect is really, really, really cool. Uh, I'm not sure we need a naked lady mini though. Kind of disappointed in that. We're back to this guy. This is the fleece mane lion, a big shaggy cat. <laughs> uh, this lion is a way, way, way cooler than a lot of the other WizKids lions. Uh, WizKids, I love you, but some of those lions have been a little rough. A centaur ranger. I love that they've got kind of a an animalistic face. It's not just a half dude, half horse. I like the blue paint. And in Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition, a playable centaur is a medium creature. So this uh, works out great to have an option there because most centaur minis are large because the actual stat block for the monsters are large. Oh, gross. A woe strider. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but uh, I would not want to meet one. It's interesting that it's large. Another nymph, a dryad. So I guess we're back to the plant type of uh, nymphs. Uh, just a dude chilling. All right, we've got that human paladin again. It's great. This one, big fan of. I like the copper effect on the shield. Another <laughs> returned sentry. So now we've got two of each types, I guess. Okay, another uh, another oracle. I don't know. It's a fun mini. So happy to have a duplicate. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, uh, it is the Emissary of Perforos, and it is so big. This is one of the biggest, like, thickest, meatiest minis ever. It's got, it's a bowl of that Nyx stuff, I guess, the, the sky, the clouds, glitter. Oh, wow, that tail. Just look at that thing. This was a great one to have last. All right, so I think this is a pretty cool set. Uh, I really, really, really like that so many of these are so fantastical. Mythic Odysseys of Theros, very, very cool set. Uh, I picked my minis up on Miniature Market as I usually do. Uh, you might head over there, not sponsors or anything, just a pretty cool website with some great prices and good service. So in last week's video, I mentioned that we were at 77 subscribers here on YouTube, and I wanted to try to get over to 100, to break 100 for my birthday in September. Uh, well, Y'all got the game together and here we are. We're over 100 already. Uh, so I wanna say thank you and we're gonna do a giveaway. Uh, we're gonna do two things. One, we're gonna move that goal up to 150 subscribers um, by my birthday, which is September 11th. And if we get up to 150 by then, we might do another giveaway, we'll see. So if you have been watching my videos for a little while or followed me on Instagram, you know that I'm a big fan of huge minis or huge miniatures. Uh, they make really, really great uh, basing materials like sand and flowers and dirt, mud, that kind of stuff. Really, really cool, big fan. And as a little bit of a throwback to being one of my first products uh, somebody sent over to review, I'm going to give away three gift cards, three $20 gift cards. So how do you win? It's real easy. Just like this video, subscribe to Fry Minis YouTube, and then head over to Fry Minis on Instagram. There's a link in the description. Find a mini that you like over there. Maybe your favorite one that I've painted, posted up there. Uh, come back here, leave a comment on this video uh, with what that is, which, which mini did you like? And then I will do a random drawing, and then in a future video, we will announce our winners. So that's going to be three winners, 
each getting a $20 gift card to hugeminiatures.com so you can pick up some of that basing material or flowers or grass yourself. Quick side note, Huge Minis is not a sponsor of this or anything. Uh, I just really like them and I wanted to, to throw back to our, to our history together. Um, entries close next Friday. So that is Friday the 21st at 1159 p.m. Central Standard Time. So make sure your comment is posted by next by the end of next Friday and then we'll do that random drawing one prize per winner kind of kind of standard things there okay if you're still with me thanks for watching really appreciate it I think the set is really neat I hope you like it too uh, I'm really really excited for this contest breaking 100 subscribers felt great what did you think of the mythic odysseys of Theros uh, set what do you think of the new background what do you think about the contest I don't know Tell me what you'd like to see from me, what you'd like to hear, anything at all. Leave it in the comments. I read every single comment that you leave. Each one I get juices me up. It's, it's awesome. Phone buzzes. It's uh, one of the most exciting times of the day. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. So check me out here, Fry Minis on YouTube, as well as on Instagram, Fry Minis over there. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday a new mini that I've painted. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.